What is up vegan food explorers? I am your vegan food explorer and I'm just getting ready to leave the house because I'm actually going to my office today um, for my actual day job um, and I haven't been in ages because of a something a little known worldwide pandemic but I'm going back in today just as a one-off um, for some meetings and that means something awesome. It means that I can eat out for the first time in ages. Um, and get my lunch out. So I'm gonna be going to prep because it's right by my offices and I used to absolutely love it. And I've heard that they have a whole new vegan menu in addition to what they always used to have. Um, a bit of background, I used to absolutely love prep and um, before I was vegan and actually I think I count it as one of the big things that helped me go vegan because I was a vegetarian for ages but I never made it over that line but something that I had I did sometimes have the vegan baguettes and um, the Avo and Tom's um, baguette was one of my favorites and that was vegan I just thought you know what if they can make something this delicious and I feel great afterwards then maybe going vegan isn't gonna kill me and the rest is history. However, then I think they went quiet for about three years maybe where they released no new vegan products and you know you had loads of non-vegan meat and fish offerings but no for the little poor little vegans like us. So I was really annoyed and I kind of fell out of love with Pret but it's back and they've got what I've been told is three different options. So we're hopefully going to get um, get them and try them, maybe two, maybe one, not sure, because let's face it, Pret isn't the cheapest, but we'll definitely get our favorite ones. And I've got a special one that I really hope they have in stock. And um, we'll do a bit of a taste test as well. Anyway, let's get into it. See you later for lunch, can't wait. Right, here we go, let's go into Pret. I love the sign outside Pret, it just looks so good, so modern, so welcoming. As always, there's loads of people, which I think they deserve because I think they do a really good offering. Okay, so I have walked in here this morning when I was gonna get a coffee, so I know where some of the things are. Um, but let's have a little look. Right, first of all, we've got the Avo Olives and Toms. Completely gone, sold out, fantastic. That's an old version. Let's have a look at the newer ones, see what we can find. Okay, we've got the Falafel, no, Sunshine Spice Wrap. That is awesome. And that has got curried chickpeas and loads of good stuff in there. Then we've got a hummus and chipotle wrap. That looks amazing as well. Um, so two new wraps there. Those are absolutely brand new. Um, what else is here? Then you've got loads of other stuff in prep. Remember, you've got all these crisps. You've got crisps, popcorn. And they've also got some roasted veg crisps, which are vegan as well. Here, I couldn't believe it. This is a meat meatless meatball hot wrap i could not believe it this is absolutely brand new it's not cheap it's four pounds 15 i think that's to eat in so i think no i don't think that's true actually i think that's how much it is that is pretty expensive super tomato that's their soup pretty standard had that for ages so that's three new products they've got for vegan um, and then as well just like the crisp remember they've got all these really good fruit pots super healthy not the cheapest again but gosh they are really nice these mango and limes are great anyway let's pick a couple up and see what they taste like okay so first is the prep meatless meatball wrap this i was so excited about i absolutely love meatballs i think they're great um, when i opened it i was a bit disappointed it looked a bit burnt and crispy um yeah i had this outside it was such a nice day today a bit crispy was a bit depressed but as I bit into it first there, I mean, as you saw, there wasn't really much in that top bit of the wrap, but as I bit into it again, there was just all this juicy stuff in there and it was so, so good. Hopefully you can see here, these meatballs are super big actually, um, really, really tender, smooth, delicious, but also it's got these peppers in and it's kind of like a bolognese sauce. It's so nice. It adds so much moisture, flavor, texture to it. It doesn't go through the wrap, but it just permeates into the meatballs a little bit. And my word, it is seriously good. Also calorie wise, sometimes these meatball wraps are super high. This one's not so much. I think it's about 400 calories, which I think is pretty decent to be honest to include the meatballs. Also has a good dosage of protein in, so you know, you're getting that. And it, as a prep, it's all fresh, comes with some really, really nice little bits in there of veg. 
But now let's get onto the sunshine and spice wrap. So this is all based around a wrap again, but it's got a chickpea curry in it, which then has mango chutney. And then it has some really, really nice spices. It has some spinach and bits and bobs like that as well. So this is this is cold. The other one was heated. Um, and this, I've got to say, the the um, the curry bit was really nice. Not spicy at all, but it has a real depth of flavour. And then you can see in the middle, it's got that cucumber down the middle. The crunch is great. I, I love how they have it in the middle. I think that's really smart because it means everything else, the wrap, the curry, the chickpeas, all really soft and tender around the edges. And the colours as well it's almost like a rainbow but then as you bite you get that real nice crunch it's kind of like a spine going through the middle that holds it all together i mean i say that it's falling out the bottom but the center is all wrapped around that one core bit so it doesn't go all floppy and you get a really really nice crunch and flavor in there i gotta say i was super super impressed with the prep um offerings i think they've upped their game and i hope that they continue